Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to design current source using a voltage regulator. You may have seen this numerical in your previous year question papers. It is very easy to use voltage regulator as a current source. In previous video, we have covered what are voltage regulators, what are their different types, what are their performance parameters, etc. Now we are going to study how to convert it to current source. So this is the circuit diagram. For example, this is your 7805 IC. So at pin number 1, there is your input. At pin number 3, there is your output. Pin 2 is ground. But here we have connected R register between pin 2 and 3. And your load register will be RL. That is connected between pin 2 and ground. And then there is one input capacitor which is connected between your pin 1 and ground. It is very simple circuit. The current flowing through this load register that is this IL is our main interest. To use a voltage regulator as a current source, you will need this resistor network at output side. Now we are going to analyze this circuit and write some equations. So first of all, for 7805, your output at pin number 3 is 5 volt, right? So your VR means the voltage across this resistor is 5 volt. Now we have to find what will be IL. By using KCL, you can write IL equal to IQ plus IR. Look at the directions. IQ and IR are meeting at this point and IL is flowing through RL. Now, what is this IQ? IQ is quiescent current. IQ is your standby current. When your IC is performing no work, IQ flows. It is very negligible. It is around 5 milliampere for 7805. Okay. Now, what is IR? IR is just VR upon R because voltage across this resistor is VR. So you can write this equation I will equal to VR upon R plus IQ. This is the equation of IL. Now we need to find out what is output voltage. Now you must be thinking it is 7805 IC so output voltage must be 5 volt but no. But that is just voltage across this R resistor. Okay. Here output voltage is voltage between these two points. So you can write VO equal to some of these voltages VR plus VL. Now VR we know 5 volt and VL is nothing but IL into RL. Okay. So from this equation we will get output voltage. Now once we get output voltage we can find out what can be the minimum input voltage. We have seen in the previous video difference between V in and VO is nothing but dropout voltage. Okay, and dropout voltage for 7805 IC is 2 volt, right? So V in must be VO plus 2. So whatever output voltage we will get, we will add 2 in it and that will be the minimum voltage required at input side. Okay, so let's take an example. Let's take some numbers and try to fill up these equations. So as I said, VR is 5 volt. Voltage at this point is 5 volt. So voltage across this resistor is 5 volt equation for IL where we substituted VR upon R for IR. Okay, now I told you IQ is quiescent current and which is 5 milliampere for 7805. Now here we are trying to find out value of IL. So we need to assume value of this resistor and load resistor as well. Okay, so we are taking 10 ohms here. So VR is 5 volt, R we assumed 10 volts and this quiescent current is 5 milliampere. Now you can see that this current is in ampere and this is in milliampere. So you can ignore this 5 milliampere because it is very small quantity. So your IL load resistor will be 0.5 ampere. Now if we try to find out output voltage which is VR plus VL. VR is 5, VL is IL into RL and just now we found out IL. So IL is 0.5 ampere and RL we assumed so it becomes 10 volts. So our output voltage is 10 volts. Now we will just add 2 in it and it will give us minimum voltage required for 7805 for this current source. So these three important equations we will use and now we will solve the design numerical. So the question is using 7805 voltage regulator design a current source that will deliver 0.25 current to 48 ohms 10 watts load. Okay so here you have given RL 48 ohms and IL is 0.25. So current of 0.25 ampere is flowing through this load of 48 ohms. Okay, now we have to design means we have to find out the missing components. So here what is the missing component? Value of R. And what will be the minimum input voltage required? 
that also we need to find out so first we will find out value of r okay so this is the equation of load current which we saw earlier now here i am again ignoring iq because it is negligible equation of r will be vr upon il okay now what is vr 5 volt and il is given in the numerical that is 0.25 ampere r comes out to be 20 ohms now we will find out output voltage and then we will find out minimum input voltage required okay so what is the equation of output voltage vr plus il into rl again vr is 5 volt il is 0.25 and rl is also given that is load of 48 ohms so just calculate it and it will come out as a 17 volt so our output voltage is 17 volt now just add 2 in it and you will get v in okay so that was quite easy and the last step you have to do is to draw the circuit again and fill up the values so r is 20 ohms rl is 48 ohms then this il is 0.25 ampere this output voltage is 17 volt input voltage is 19 volt minimum and this input capacitor you can assume anything 0.33 microfarad can work so you have to calculate the values and you have to draw the diagram again okay i hope you have understood how to convert a voltage regulator into current source that's all for this video if you have understood this clearly like this video share this whole playlist with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you